This is an overview of the liquid full screen menu by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the liquid full screen menu into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it's a hamburger icon that when you click on it, it will show a menu from your WordPress that you select over here inside of menu. And it will show an X that when you click on it, it will close the menu with an awesome liquid effect, which you can choose between the different effects over here inside of overlays animation. Inside of the menu, we can select which menu you want to show. I'm going to choose my main menu of my website. And inside of depths, I'm going to show only the parent items and not the sub items. Inside of overlay animation, we can choose between the different types of animation. So for example, if I change this to two, you can see that now the animation is different. Let's check out the different animations. This is number three. It's more subtle. Number four is coming from the side. It's horizontal. This one is horizontal as well. And number six is coming from the downside. And each one of these is really, really awesome. The next thing we need to take care about is how we're going to position our hamburger menu. So inside of style, if we jump into style, we can go into hamburger and over here we can align this to the right, for example. Now, this in some cases can be a good solution because sometimes you have a logo, you have a hamburger, you want to split this section into two columns so you can just add a new column, drag this one to the other side, and there you go. Another solution could be instead of placing this in the header, is placing this in a fixed position. So you can click on it. Inside of the advanced tab in positioning, We'll choose over here inline auto and then in position we'll select fixed and we'll snap this to the right side of the page and to the top and you can distance this from the top and from the right side how much you want and then this will be fixed even when you're scrolling down the page that will be the position of the hamburger menu. Let's see the different types of settings that we have over here. So right click edit and jump into style over here. The first settings are for overlay, the overlay color. So you can see these overlays are built from four colors. And actually the first color is the one that's going to stay. The other ones are just the animations under that. And the fourth color over here, which is the first one, is the one that's going to stay. So let's say I'm going to make this a lot darker and play around with this. You can see that this color is the color that stays. The other ones are the ones that are being animated. Perfect. Hamburger menu. We can make our hamburger menu bigger or smaller by using the slider. You can see I just pushed the slider up and now the icon is bigger the icon inside adapts to the outer circle. So actually we're determining the size of the outer circle and the inner circle is calculated automatically. The border is this pulsing effect that we have over here. You can change the size of it. So for example, if I'll change it to four from to from four to one, it will be a lot thinner and we have background color for our menu. So we can change that as well. And we can change the hamburger line colors, which is also the color for the close icon. So just take that in mind. So open close, looking good. And this is for the pulsing effect. If you don't want to show the pulsing effect, you could just push down the transparency all the way down and you won't see any pulse, which also looks awesome. Sometimes it's annoying to some of the users over here in Alignment, we already talked about that. Now the alignment isn't relevant because this is positioned in a fixed position with inline auto inside of the advanced tab as we showed earlier. 
Menu items is for the items themselves. You can change the typography. So for example, if I want these items to be bigger as we most likely should when we have not a lot of items and using this type of cool menu. And over here we can change the colors of the text, the text on hover, and the active color is when you're actually visiting on a page. If you want, you can, right now these items are aligned to the left. I can choose to align them to the center and look how awesome that is. So thank you guys for joining. This was a quick tutorial of the liquid full screen menu by Limited Elements. I'm gonna see you in the next video.